Yo, what's poppin' y'all? It's Skull back at it with another reaction. Yes, sir. Here today, we got Death Battle Magneto versus Tetsuo. So it's a Marvel versus Akira. So yeah, new to the channel. Don't forget to one subscribe to leave a like, three comment down below your thoughts on my reaction, your thoughts on Death Battle. Other than that, we're gonna watch the fight portion as well as we're gonna watch the explanation on why whoever wins between Magneto and Tetsuo, whoever wins, uh, let's see their explanation on why whoever wins so let's get it Death battle! sprite even in japan yeah failed to recognize our superiority i like the voice actor wrong country grandpa you're an akira turf now okay Ooh, okay you're dead meat Impudent child! The hell are you calling child? I make the rules around here! Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> You're wasting my time. Mm. Mmm, you gonna regrow it? Tricks for the master of magnetism. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Mmm. Your history, scumbag. He hit him with the combo. He hit him with the bing, bing, bing combo. He just headbutt. Hold on. He just headbutt the building. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Wah!" laughs> what the hell? Let's see this. That's hilarious. Mmm. Oh, that's cool. That was very cool. Run that back. That was very cool. I like that. Hit him with the yeah. That that effect is cool. I ain't gonna lie. I've had enough tantrums to last a lifetime. Oh, we becoming the super monster form. That's in that was an interesting battle, like in terms of like the choreography, the fighting aspects. Very interesting, very different from Death Battle. So, hey, anyway, let's see the explanation for Magneto. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Tetsuo's esoteric telekin. 
Magneto. Oh, so I think so. I noticed that that they're starting to put like the results of like the positive and the negatives. So stronger, faster, tougher. Okay. Uh, Mag magnetic kinesis counter Tesla offense. Magnetic senses counter Tesla mobility. Inferior healing options. Tesla could eventually grow more powerful. Powerful. Tetsuo could kill Magneto without his shield. Telekinesis had a broader range of effect. And though his application was less versatile, over exertion risks bodily harm. Far less combat and tactical experience. Yeah, that's that's true. This is another bizarre ability. It certainly gave Magneto pause. But far but less combat and tactical experience. That's definitely true. control over his foe. The numbers don't lie. Tetsuo cratering the moon was insane, but Magneto punched Iron Man with the force of the sun. And while Tetsuo jumped all the way to the moon, Magneto could move across galaxies. Against Tetsuo in his human form, Magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power. Without his barrier, Tetsuo was easily powerful enough to kill Magneto. However, those barriers can withstand attacks from Thor and Hercules, who are far stronger than Tetsuo speed but stats aren't all that matters with his precise telekinesis tetsuo could just target magneto's organs gg right yes but magneto had similar skills there are very few substances on earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component and magneto is very creative with his powers which he could use to predict tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down his telekinesis and his scraps with xavier prove he could handle tetsuo's messing with his even that Tetsuo was put out of commission after attempting to read Akira's mind, it's likely that my, with Magneto's greater array of abilities, that's the same will apply here. Hmm. The biggest challenge for Magneto was when Tetsuo's gross mutated power came into play. Especially given how the detonations from this form were compared to that of a Big Bang. Although the authenticity of that observation is questionable. In truth, the Big Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale, whereas Tetsuo's explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts, clearly intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we can't exactly call it canon. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe, alternate or otherwise. Turns out Magneto had the tools to stop that too. Helmet Head could overpower Hercules, who was strong enough to hold up the skies of Olympus, which is literally heaven and an alternate universe. This doesn't necessarily mean Magneto could easily destroy a universe with a snap of his fingers, but it does prove he can match on the a version. similar level of power. And context is everything. Tetsuo's Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable mess of neutrons and electrons. And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. Damn, and I thought he could just move some metal around. It's like the question posed by some of the greatest prophets of our time. Fucking magnets. How do they even work? Magneto's astonishing power and intelligent control over all things magnetism triumphed in the end. Tetsuo pushed his luck, but didn't have the metal to pull off the win. Mm. The winner is Magneto. It's crazy because it's usually like, especially like the top dogs, like I consider Magneto like, not obviously he's not top dog of, of the cosmic, of the comic verse. Obviously, hell no. But um, in terms of like his own series, like the X Men series, and, like so he's one of the top villains in terms of that, in terms of like his character and everything. And usually every single character has like an autoversal statement usually with comics. So it's like they have, I mean, obviously it's not consistent, but they always have like one statement. There's always one statement that makes them either autoversal or uh, multiversal or the high ends of episode. boundless and stuff like, like that. If you'd like to directly support the whole Death Battle team, click that join button and consider becoming a member. We'd really appreciate it. Hope you like the next one. What's the next one? Hercules versus Sun Wukong. Interesting. I'm assuming they're using the actual um, Hercules from the Greek mythology and Sun Wukong from Journey from the West. Cool.
All right, that's it for me. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on my reaction, your thoughts on the death battle uh, fight and everything, and the explanation. Let me know all that. Um, yeah, I, I also agree with that that um, Magneto wins, but I'm pretty sure that there's always something. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.